What is up guys, AshBFC here, and welcome back to Yakuza 3. So we're continuing on with the sub-stories in Chapter 4. So, right, um, let's think about what we got. Right, actually we go um, over here, out the way, taxi. We go over here, we see this guy holding these ice creams. This sub-story is called The Loving Family. I know. Ah, uh, go on then. Hey, what do you mean by that? Whoa, 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 where's I'm running to? Steady on. Look at the old woman running. Looks like she's pissed herself. Alright, so now we're going to carry the ice cream. There's the family. It says, live the ice cream without dropping it, which will happen if you run or bump into passerbys. Yeah. Fingers crossed I can do this, so we need to walk. We've got to watch out for the cars. Come on, coming through here. So zebra crossing, give way. All right, now I gotta watch out for people, and it's, it's completely random, you know, as to you know where people are gonna be going and when they're gonna appear. So they might suddenly appear right behind you. They might suddenly turn. And I forget exactly how strict it is with bumping into people. I know with cars, it's slightest touch and you've dropped them. Cause I tried that once, trying to run down the middle of the road. Well, walk down the middle of the road, and it did not work. Come on, we're nearly there. Let's make a turn up here. Nobody come this way. Okay, I got ice cream here. Nobody come this way. All right, we're there. I think we've got this. Oh, oh, someone's coming to the... Oh, no! Oh, he turned, he turned. Oh, boy. Oh, did it. That wasn't too bad. Alright, I got some ice cream. Hmm. Well, man, a bit of Ben and Jerry's right about now. Fish food, me favourite, no? Nah? I think I might have some in the freezer, actually. I'll have to look after I've done this video. Alright, that's that one done. Another 3,000 experience points. Whoa, we can level up. Let's see what we've got. Um, to do right, we've got 12 points, so we can do, um, yeah, charge kick. We'll get that one. All right. Okay, another sub story we can do is just over here. He's beeping at me. Right, we we'll talk to these couple. I think these only appear once you've done the loving family, which I just did right there. So we talk to these two. This one's called Find the Lion Dog. That would be the lion dog. Creepy, ugly looking thing. Mm. 
You know, those people are mental. Alright, yes, we're gonna find the lion dog. You could probably spend a while trying to look for this thing, actually. You can find things that look like it. This isn't it. <laughs> so, nope. Nearly not that guy over. The actual lion dog we're looking for is. People are beeping at me again. Who cares if I'm running down the middle of the road? They should not be beeping at me, it's rude. Yeah, it's up here. It's on a dead end street. Very much out of the way. There's actually another sub story right here, but I'll come back for that. See that group of guys? Have we seen them before? Well, those are for later. But I'll do it on the way back, I think. No, actually, I think I'll have to come back this way. But here we go here. Just walk over here. There we go. It is the very one. Hey, 50,000 yen. Not bad. Not bad at all. They're weird. Alright, that's that one done. Now well, let's get back to those group of guys we saw walking around. Where were they? Down here, were they? Yeah, they are. This is the bumper strikes back. I think we dealt with this guy in a previous video. Well, here we go again.
a million yen. They want a million yen. Well, one of the problems would be that I don't even have a million yen, and even if I did, I wouldn't pay it. Yeah, it's not happening, boys. So you could pay a hundred thousand or a million or a whole lot of nothing and just whoop some ass. That, to me, is without a doubt the best option. Oh yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, they're gonna be a little bit trickier than last time, but still, nothing too hard. All right. Bow. Kick me in the back. Hey, you there? Time for that big guy. Ow. That's him down. Always gave me cheap shots from behind. Let's get here. Hey! Try to do a heat action here. That's the big guy down. Fifty thousand. I think I should be on a bit more, but I'll take it. may not see those guys again. I guess we'll see. But anyway, there's going to be another uh, sub-story. I saw I went the wrong way. It's just up here. You see there, there is a guy stood on the bridge. What is he doing? What is he doing? This is called the suicidal debt. Stop him. Alright, I wanna go, what about filing for bankruptcy?
Hmm. Prevent this guy from killing himself and that's all he gives me. I don't think we're even. Got 2,000 experience points still, but yeah, that's all there is to that one. For now, I shall say. Alright, I think I'll probably squeeze one more in. Um, this one unlocks after just doing that one there, the suicidal debt. And we can find this one in the marketplace. Uh oh, someone's going after me. Run! Oh, I'm not sure he's the same guy or another guy, but people want to fight. Oh, there's a guy there as well. Run! Oh, they're all over the damn place. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, you want some? Yeah! Well, that was quick. You're damn right I am. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. We don't need to see that. Blah. I got a platinum nail. Hmm, okay. Again, I think that's for modding. Alright, here's the market. We'll head on in. Here we go. Go to this stall over here. This one's called Sea Bream Troubles. It involves fish. All right, so we can get that fish back. Yes, we said it's in Hatsumachi, which is the place at the top where I've just previously been. Take a left at this intersection here. We should find the place. Here it is. Talk to this guy who stood outside here. <laughs> the stubborn chef.
Three hundred thousand. Yeah, so if I remember, I, I think okay, you can pay him now when the money, the extra hundred comes out of your pocket. But if I remember, I think the first time I did it, if you go back to the guy and tell him, I think he gives you the extra money so you don't end up losing any money yourself. I think. I'm not 100% sure though. And you can also go fishing and get another fish, which I'm probably going to get doing because I kind of suck at the fishing, but I'm going to try it anyway because it's slightly more interesting. So we're going to go catch another fish. It's a big ass tuna. Alright, we'll go get a big ass fish. Alright, I need to get some proper bait. I think I need like shrimp or something. So I think I need I think I can buy it in the market. I have got some worm bait and you can get the worm bait outside the orphanage. It's always there, always respawns, but I don't think that's enough to catch the big fish that I need. I don't think it is anyway. Probably should have just paid the guy the money, but... Yeah. Too late now. Yeah, bait. Shrimp bait. That's what I need. I'm going to have to buy a few of them because... Well, in case I fail, which I'm... Well, when I fail, because I know I am going to do. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm just going to jump back to the orphanage and uh, the... Well, to the beach where the, the fishing place is. Alright, here we go. So here's the fishing rod. Let's go fishing. I think I'll just have one to try this and I can't do it, I'll just Yeah, I'll do it off screen, I'll just do some editing or whatever. Yeah, there's a tiny about the bait there. You've got to press X when the fish bites, then you've got to draw the line in, make sure it doesn't tap, and then you need to get a fight with the fish going left and right and all that sort of stuff. Okay, there we go, this is what you want. You want a fish nearest to the uh, 150 uh, meters mark. If it's not there you'll have to go off and then go back on again and hope that one appears. So, uh, so we do this. So we use the shrimp. Okay. Now I want to stop the line on the fish. Ooh, just about there. Eagles it. That should be all right. I know I'm not going to do this first time, but at least you can see how the fishing works. I can be ready to press X. Provided the fish bites. Got it! Mm. Damn. Let's try again. See, this is why I need to, <laughs> need to ban more than one bit. Pretty much exactly the same place as last time. You're gonna be really freaking quick pressing X. Come on, come on, come on. I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. Yeah, so the fish is... What do you mean? Why did he get let go? Oh, for Christ's sake, I don't understand why it let go so quick. Oh, I hate this fishing. Why can I not? Why didn't I just pay the guy the goddamn money? Eagles it. Why do I love to torture myself? 
Right, I'm going to do this off screen because we'll be here all day otherwise. Alright, you know what? Forget it. I've been trying this for about an hour and it's not happening. This fishing game is flat out retarded. I would rather play E.T. on Atari than go through this fishing crap again. So I'm done. That sub story is not getting done. It's ridiculous. Why did I decide to do the fishing? Why did I do that? Why do I constantly do such stupid goddamn things? Why do I insist on torturing myself? Never again am I going near that fishing game. It's stupid. Anyway, just before we finish... Uh, there is a bottle you can find here washed upon a beach, which is another um, sub-story. I think you can also do it in what of later chapters, but I uh, might as well do it now. Um, this is just called Letter in a Bottle. Alright, well, uh, that's going to do it for this part. Um, so as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And screw the stupid fishing minigame. Screw it. <laughs>